And that is the last of the SSRs you guys will see. Barely mounted, very expensive, and they're gone. <laughs> I'm selling them. If you guys are local and I still have them by the time of this video and you actually want to buy those, let me know. I'm just getting the tires dismounted right now. But why? But why? Why did I sell them? Well, I couldn't fit them. But here's here's the real, here's the real reason. I bought wraps. Okay, not actually. I'm just I'm just I'm just kidding. I don't want you guys to get upset. These are Vars, I think they call them Varstoin. Varstoin. Uh, Mark 8, they're a replica of that track kind of wheel from NK. NK, NK. They actually like look almost exactly the same. These are 18 by 9 and a 30 offset. So now sometimes I'll buy wheels and I'll do like, I'll refinish them and sell them. And this is just one of those sets. I just want to test fit these because they're silver. And that's kind of the color that I wanted to do on the Mazda 3. So I just want to test fit them, kind of see what they look like. The actual wheels, because I'm not like, this, this is not real. Now the actual wheels, I did buy another set of wheels that will actually fit the car. So we're actually getting our official set of wheels coming in. I will not mount them until 2024. I think it is, I, I want to start the new year with a fresh look. I don't want to start the fresh look before the, so I'll probably reveal them and stuff like that, but I won't mount them on the car. So we are getting new wheels. The SSRs are gone, but the new wheels are sweet and I'm so excited. And yes, I ordered them from Japan because I can't stop. I just can't. Now, obviously you guys know the car is currently sitting on the work emotions. These are 18 by nine and a half and a 30, eight on the back and a 32 on the front just as because of spacers so we are going to test fit the other wheels and see what the silver looks like on the gray that's your guys first tease the wheel that i bought silver Yesterday. so these will be for sale once the new wheels go on again if any of you local people want any of these wheels Please let me know. Local. Local doesn't mean ship to the States or Australia, okay? <laughs> I mean here, here, Canada. So these reps are a bit of a meatier setup than the work, um, even being a Skinner wheel by half an inch. These are 235, while those are 225. So it'll be interesting to see what uh, the thicker tire looks like. I might have problems sitting the car down, but uh, We'll find out. Not gonna lie, I haven't even put these on yet and they look the color. Okay, not the not the actual wheels. The color. Blood oh my god. I'm not gonna be able to drop this thing. Okay, so it that's a big boy. With that 235, 225, I might have been able to kind of fit that in. Kinda looks weird. I need to do something about these taillights. Having that red there is just bugging me. The clear reflectors and the red taillights, those red taillights gotta go. Let's stick the front on real quick. There is the front. It actually kinda looks pretty cool. These rims just look so cheap though. Should be fine, I'm worried about the back. So I will give you guys a front row seat. It's uh, it would work if it, you know, fit. I don't know about these wheels on this car. What do you guys think? Put it down in the comments below. I'm interested to hear, hear your thoughts and opinions on how these look on the car. I do like the silver for sure. I think that's gonna be a good pick. But yeah, this 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 style wheel, I don't really think suits this at all. I used to like the like the the multi spoke design. Like this reminds me of like the XXR 527. Now that I've actually put it on the car, I don't think I really like it too much. I mean, they are reps. It is what it is. These don't really look any different from the actual real wheels. Now, let's just be clear here. I'm not a rep hater. Buy reps. Do whatever you want. Wheels are wheels. It's the aftermarket scene. Definitely a interesting look. Um, not for me though. I'm not saying they're bad. Just not for me. As for this, <laughs> this is like, I could probably drive, if I hit a bump, that's gone. For sure, that fender is gone. I've stood here for like a good 10 minutes just looking how I don't like these every second I look at them. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take them off. I'm, for some reason, it's weird. I thought I would really like this kind of wheel on this car. Maybe I like less spokes nowadays. Who knows? And just like that, 
we are back on the work. These wheels definitely fit this car a lot better than the multi-spoke, I think, for sure. I really like this kind of dual spoke design on these cars. It really makes it look sporty, if I dare to say that, on a Mazda 3. However, the next set of wheels won't look like this, but this is basically what we're gonna be rocking for the remainder of 2023. You know, it doesn't really matter anyway. It's just build season. And that's all I got for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I thought it would be cool to try on a different kind of style of wheel. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below, obviously. I'm trying to spend some time on the MX-3. If you guys haven't watched that, I'll leave that up there for you guys to watch next. Um, still trying to get that motor out. It's getting really cold and dark here, so trying to spend as much time as I can on that. Other than that, guys, I'm excited for the new wheels to come in whenever they decide to, but it's gonna be a good. I am so stoked for 24. It's gonna look so good. So guys, thank you so much. Keep it real. I'll see y'all in the next one.